video on the products and services that we have to offer. In China, we've partnered with Kanjin, and all of our products and services that you see in this video are available through them. LyricFine was established in 2004, and since then, we've grown to represent over 10,000 publishers for their lyric rights and have a database that covers over 4.5 million lyrics and 152 languages. With that database and licensing, we're powering over 100 platforms around the world. When we first established LyricFind, lyric use was not being properly compensated. The general use of lyrics was uh, on lyric websites and places that didn't realize that they needed to have a license for the use of those copyrighted materials. What we've been able to do is aggregate all of the rights for that content from the publishers so that anybody that wants to use lyrics or lyrics licensed rights can now come straight to Lyric Find and do one license instead of having to do 10,000 different licenses and build up an entire database themselves. We're a very global and diverse team. Our headquarters are in Toronto, Canada, uh, but as you can see here, we have representatives uh, and teams all over the world working on different languages and clearing rights uh, and making sure that everything is, is localized and we have the most content available and the highest quality content available. When we're generating lyrics, for example, we make sure that those lyrics are transcribed by a native speaker in the language of the recording so that the transcription is perfect uh, and contains all of the correct localizations and slang and such. LyricFind has four core products. Uh, Lyric Data, which is the actual database of, of lyrics itself, including synchronization and translations uh, and associated metadata with, with that. Lyric Licensing, which is, of course, the rights to use that data and display the lyrics to other uh, users and on services. Lyric IQ is a new product that uses AI and other manual processes to look at music content through the lyrics and have a deeper understanding of what is involved in that content. Lyric Videos is also a new product where we can automatically generate a high volume of lyric videos with professional quality look and feel in just minutes. Our lyric database, as I mentioned earlier, covers over four and a half million unique lyrics. But that four and a half million actually represents over 20 million tracks that are currently available on streaming services today. And of that four and a half million, over 1.3 million of them are synchronized. So with sync, we're able to power services displaying the lyrics in time with the music, which is a much better user experience. You can see here an example from Deezer and another from Amazon Music, where the lyrics are synchronized, they show up in time with the music and it creates a much better user experience. And we can also, with sync, provide word by word synchronization uh, on top of just line by line. And that creates experiences like this. That was a great implementation uh, of word by word on the Lyric Speaker by Kododama that's licensed by Lyric Find. Another part of our Lyric data package uh, and licensing is translation. So here you can see an example of a translation from English to Spanish uh, of Beat It by Michael Jackson. And one of the important things about translations that Lyric Find provides is that every single one is done by a professional translator and vetted to make sure that it's completely accurate. This is not using a automated translation tool or people who are not native speakers in the language. Each translation is done by a person who is a native speaker in the destination language to make sure that 
all of the slang and all of the nuances are correctly captured to be uh, extremely precise and high quality. As part of our licensing product, we're able to license the use of not just the data and the display of the lyrics, but also the synchronization, whether that's word, word by word or line by line, uh, the translations and more. So we're able to provide a license on behalf of over 10,000 publishers representing over 55,000 publishing catalogs to use the data and integrate it into streaming services, websites, mobile applications, and many, many other different places. Doing so, you can come to Lyric Find and do one license to get the entire package of data and rights for your product to be able to include lyrics and lyric related services. One of the recent implementations that we're really excited about is in the automotive market. We recently licensed automotive manufacturers to include lyrics as part of the connected car entertainment package in cars. This is obviously not for while you're driving. We don't want people to be distracted and running off the road, but think about things like rear seat entertainment, companion apps, uh, charge time entertainment, or entertainment anytime you're sitting in the car parked on the side of the road waiting to pick up your kids from school. The automotive implementation allows for complete use of all of the database uh, of lyrics and translations and synchronization and creates a great user experience, particularly with families in the car wanting to sing along to a song. On top of that, it's a very lightweight implementation for cars where data over the cellular network is always a big concern. Here's an example of a number of our implementations that are in action today. Isn't the best place to find a lover So the bar is where I go mm -hmm. Me and my friends sat at the table Doing shots, tricking fast And then we talk slow mm -hmm. And you come over and start up a conversation With just me and trust me I'll give it a chance now Take my hand, stop it And the man on the jukebox And then we start to dance And now I'm singing like Girl, you know I want your love Your love was handmade for somebody like me I'm coming now, follow my lead Next is one of our newer products that we're really excited about, and that's Lyric IQ. Lyric IQ looks at analyzing a song through its lyrics. So using AI and manual processes, we've developed a set of data about music using the lyrics as a guide. The first portion of that is the emotion and sentiment analysis. So with the emotion and sentiment analysis, we are scoring each song based on the strength of each individual emotion and the overall positive or negative sentiment of the music. Secondly, there's subject matter analysis, which looks at specific mentions and places and people and other things like that that are mentioned in a song. And lastly, there is content filters, which scores every song on 31 different categories to indicate the strength of the mentions or offensiveness of each song in a particular category to enable filtration either in or out of specific categories and types of content. If we look here at some examples using Lyric IQ's emotion and sentiment analysis, you can see that the scoring is from zero to 100. And with different scoring uh, comes a different meaning. For example, if something is scored between 1 and 50 with an emotion, it's only lightly present. However, if the score for an individual emotion is above 50, or in extreme cases above 80, then that means that that emotion is highly, highly dominant in that song. So I've talked earlier about uh, the example of Mbop by Hanson, which sounds like a fun, upbeat, catchy song and a happy song, but it really isn't. Mbop is actually about 
getting old, losing your hair, losing your friends. And it's a very, very sad song. And you can see from this that Lyric IQ correctly identifies Mbop as a sad song and as that being a very dominant emotion. If we take a second now to look at the lyrics, you can see on there that it is actually a sad song. Talking about when you get old, uh, hold on to the ones who really care. In the end, they'll be the only ones there. And, and lines like that, you go through all the pain and strife. It's clearly a sad song, uh, but most people don't even realize that. I was one of those people when our team pointed this out to me. Uh, I said, no way, that's that can't be right. And then they showed me the lyrics and they were right. Uh, it, it blew my mind uh, and it's fascinating that the algorithms with Lyric IQ correctly identify that so that the proper categorization of that song can happen. And that's something that if you're looking at mood and emotion through audio only, you're not going to capture the entire essence of a song. You need to have both the audio based analysis and the lyrical analysis to get a complete understanding of the entire song. If we look at content filters in Lyric IQ, there are currently 31 different categories that we're rating each song in. So you can see the list of categories here, but it includes things like alcohol and drugs and smoking, gambling, regular course language, and different types of violence and racism and, and politics and religion, uh, and many, many other categories. Now it's important to look at the distinction of different types of categories here because it affects how to interpret the scoring. For example, if we're looking at a category that we've flagged as a potentially offensive content category that's in yellow on here, if the score is over 50, that means that the references to that category uh, are potentially quite offensive. If the score is under 50, then it just means that there is a reference there that is not necessarily an offensive or derogatory reference. With regular explicit content, those are the categories in red, it's more of a measure of the quantity and strength of the references where it's not necessarily offensive. Alcohol, for example, uh, is, is not an offensive category, uh, but if there's a high rating, it would mean that there are a large number of references to alcohol uh, in the song. So using this content, we're much better equipped to filter content in or out depending on the particular situation. One of the great examples for this is, again, if we look at uh, automotive implementations, if you are driving with your kids uh, in the in the back seat, I have a six year old son, so this happens to me all the time. A song comes on the radio. I don't know what that song is about or what the content of that song is and what are the references that are there. So I don't know if it's appropriate for my son to be listening to. And I don't necessarily want him picking up on the references there. Using Lyric IQ, a flag can be raised that says this song is highly sexual. This song has violent references. This song has drug references that I may not realize because I haven't memorized uh, every song that is getting played. And using that information, I can change the station, skip the song if I'm streaming, or just move to some other piece of content. Uh, it makes that experience much better, much more kid-friendly, family-friendly, uh, and easier for everybody to control what everybody is exposed to. Uh, it's a great, great feature for playlisting, uh, for kid-friendly services, for sync licensing, uh, for uh, search and discovery of all different types of content, uh, and is very, very powerful based on the categorization. Traditional explicit lyric filtering has just worked off of a few bad words. And if that word appears, then that song is flagged as explicit or worse, an entire release is flagged as explicit, even though it's only one song. Using Lyric IQ's content filters, you can really drill down to 
an individual song in an individual category to know exactly what it is that that song is about and what whether or not it is appropriate for the situation uh, that you're programming for. With subject matter analysis, we're doing a deep dive into what the song is actually about in terms of different types of topics and locations and brands and that. So subject matter analysis will tell you that a song references Toronto, for example. So if you want to have a, a playlist about songs that mention Toronto or are about Toronto in different ways, then you can do that using Lyric IQ subject matter analysis and connect many different genres of songs together based on what those songs are actually about. Uh, it also categorizes things like brands, holidays, celebrities, uh, and many, many other topics that are covered in songs. So being able to do really, really smart playlisting uh, as a result, augment additional playlist uh, filtration uh, to be able to get the right content together and pair, for example, a particular genre of songs to find all the songs that contain references to the same topic. It's also great for sync licensing when you're trying to find a song that is uh, relevant to a particular topic or use that that sync is happening in uh, and more. S many, many different possibilities for the use of uh, the subject matter analysis in Lyric IQ uh, and combining that with other metadata to have intelligent playlisting recommendations, search and more. Our newest service is automated lyric video production. This service takes a feed of your audio assets and matches it to our lyric database that is high quality vetted transcriptions and synchronizations, as well as translations. Using the combination of the two, we create a visual template like some of the examples that you see here for the game and Bryant Myers and add in variables, whether it's design styles, uh, animations, translations, different types of displays and uh, positioning of, uh, of images and the lyrics to create a highly professional looking and extremely accurate lyric video for all of your catalog. Using this video content then, it can be distributed across YouTube and other platforms and monetized. And for a lot of the videos that we can create, there isn't even much of a presence right now on these video platforms for that music. Therefore, it's a great tool for monetizing back catalog and filling out a whole lot of, of video assets and also multiplying the number of videos that are available for a particular song by including things like translations or having different versions with line by line or word by word synchronization and all the other different features that can be there. The production is very, very fast and efficient. We can produce thousands of videos in a day using our automated system. Uh, and these videos are completely free to create uh, and we will walk you through the entire process. So it's a great way to monetize and capture the value from large scale catalogs. That's the end of this presentation. Thank you so much for listening. I really appreciate you spending the time to learn more about what Lyric Find can do. And hopefully there are a number of different things that we can do together. Uh, please feel free to reach out to me uh, or to Kanjin. Our contact information uh, is here on the slide. And I look forward to hearing from you and working together in the future.